Why SK what the definition of helping you move is? Why why SK when you ask people to help you move and waste a whole day on what should could be a couple hours work, you are wasting their time, which is usually on a weekend. Not cool. Here's what it means to me, and I think most reasonable people. All the rules get tossed in emergencies such as the case of abusive relationship move hours, etc. We're talking normal, non-emergent moves here. One be packed no one wants to sit around for hours and figure out how to wrap your little trinkets and cups mugs or your antique dong collection. Have everything you're moving packed, wrapped, and in boxes. To clear the path remove all trip hazards and obstacles so people are safe while picking up and moving your heavy stuff. 3. Have a plan reserve the truck for when you are 98 sure you will be ready to quickly load up with the vast majority of your stuff. 4. Feed the crew pizza is fine. Beer beverages on ice are great. If you're planning on using your kitchen goods to do this, leave a few things out to support. Otherwise just use disposable stuff. Moving is very stressful and we all want help. Getting things ready so you can effectively use people's precious time makes you far more likely to get help again when you need it and sets a good example for when they need the favor returned. Have toilet paper in the bathroom still. Yeah, I went to help a friend move and he had nothing packed. He played wow until his parents showed up to help pack things. I used to be a mover and one thing I hated was helping my family move they were never packed also had pets and kids all over the place, despite telling them to be ready on move day. Bravo I have left on moving day when I showed up and they had nothing ready. When I moved, all we had was big stuff that needed more than one person. Four hours was all it took. Everything that I could move myself was already at the new place. There is nothing more frustrating than showing up and they are actively packing. Like, bitch, you said help you move, not help you pack and move. I owned a pickup truck for 20 years. I was everybody's best friend on moving day of course. Your list is spot on. Pack before we get there, be fucking organized, and study up on good moving tips. Respect my time and sweat or I am walking. When I move, I get the pros. I'm too old to be messing with that now. Note that it's totally possible to help with prep, by assisting with the stuff OP listed. Don't expect to pack stuff into boxes the same day as it leaves the building. Additional I will totally help you pack, sort, clear, clean if you tell me that's what is needed up front. Be specific. Something tells me OP just had an unfortunate experience. And if you're over 35, hire movers. Your friends are too old. Nobody wants to slip a disc for pizza and two Bud Lights. Also, if you're over the age of 29, hire movers and stop asking your friends to help. Nobody wants to throw their back out for some pizza and shitty beer. Or just hire movers. They're pretty affordable and your friend's family won't secretly resent you. Pet peeve of mine. I always got so furious at friends that expected you to help them pack. No, dude. Your stuff should be ready and honestly I'm really only here to help you with the stuff you can't lift by yourself. That's obviously one way to look at it. Personally I think the best thing to do when asking is be perfectly clear as to what will be involved. Helping pack is fine. Loading unloading a truck is fine. Maybe you have food, maybe you don't. No matter what just try to give someone a heads up as to what is involved. Also, if simply hanging out all day because you get distracted is too much trouble, maybe they aren't a friend worth committing to helping in the first place. Found the guy who recently helped somebody move and isn't happy about it user. Fuck, I told a friend I'd help him move. I show up at 9am on my only day off that week expecting to knock the entire move hour in 3-4 hours and this son of a bitch isn't even packed. This was about 5 years ago now and it still pisses me off when I think about it. One time a girl I knew recruited 4 of our friends to help her move. When they got to her house she had done literally nothing except acquire boxes. 
Also, if you're moving a compost bin, give the compost to people who garden before you move. Not that my cousin's a dipshit or anything. Last week I helped my friend stay put. It's a lot easier than helping someone move. I just went over to his house and made sure that he did not start to load his shit into a truck. I don't care how good friends we are, I ain't asking that. And don't ask me either unless you are like down and out, really desperate no other way. I'm almost 40, I am past those days. I can buy my own pizza and beer lol. Be courteous and respectful to your help, of what time you start. If I'm the helper and I ask if we can start early, don't counter with so and so needs to sleep late. Some other tips. Have soap and paper towels at the ready at both locations. You get her hands dirty, need to pee, whatever. Good to be able to wash hands. Water's Gatorade's in the fridge. Have one person dedicated to the organization of the truck, one person doing boxes, whatever. Fireman chains having one person who brings the box to the stairs, hands to a person running to the truck, one person who stacks in the truck, etc. keeps things moving. If you are moving and a work adult who can afford it hire movers. It is the best way always because all your friends and family will conveniently be distant as the date approaches then they are all busy out of town major surgery etc it is stressful. I have a good friend who has a moving company and he works hard. I am so grateful he has always made sure I have help. Love him. Had a friendship end because helping in their move was such a train wreck. Weren't packed, didn't plan how to make things fit in the too small trailer before we got there, and the $10 Little Caesars gift card they gave us as a thank you was empty. So much more on top of that, looking back it was just hilariously bad. I was one of those people that weren't quite ready for my move. You know what I did? I had my friends help with what was ready, filled their gas tanks and fed them, then sent them on their way and dealt with the rest on my own. I get things don't go as they should and you very well might not be ready. That's not the help's problem. Make sure your boxes are small and light enough for people to carry. I work freight and can lift a really heavy box. The first time I had help moving I had packed the boxes pretty full and I own a lot of books. My help were having to double lift my boxes and tapped out upon filling the second truck. Lesson learned. My second move, I put the boxes to a much smaller size and mixed contents so they'd weight less overall. Twice as many boxes, but a much better experience. When I moved, I had spent the first week alone packing boxes and moving everything into the garage like a compact 3D Tetris puzzle. When I had the boys come to help me move, they just moved a box three feet to the truck and that's that. It was so fast. I'll help you move, but I won't help you pack. That's what I tell people when they ask for help moving. I love seeing why escape posts come across my feed because half of them are people posting after they got inconvenienced by a friend and were so mad they typed up a whole paragraph. Ask everyone who would have helped you move, how much they would pay, not to actually help you move. Collect that money, pay a little bit yourself and you'll have enough to hire a small company to do the move for you. Go to the pub after the move and buy your friends a round of drinks to say thank you for the move. Up woke up sore and angry from helping their friend move yesterday for 10 hours. LPT hire professional movers. I did the unfortunate thing of asking a good friend to help me move once. And he didn't even want pizza or beer or anything he's a health person so he was like I'm good. Anyway, even then all I really wanted him to help with was bring down the large TV I couldn't do myself. Everything else was packed and or left for myself to do. Over the years I learned that when asked to help someone move, before I agree I say I can help you move, but I won't help you pack. You need to be ready to load the truck when I get there. Can't tell you how enraging it is to show up while the person is still packing. Also understand that you only have so many moves before you wear out your welcome. I know someone who moves around the town at least once a year, but sometimes even more frequently. 
I'm not moving your stuff anymore. Sorry, not sorry.